So winter squash and pumpkins, most of these are field planted. No-till into cover crop really works well. Uh, it's also thinking about multiple markets. So in this case, this is a grower in Illinois, and he grows either cereal, rye, or wheat. Um, most likely this was wheat, and they harvest the wheat, bale the straw, so then they have straw to market with their pumpkins, and then they transplant into that cover mulch. So that mulch provides some weed control. It also provides mulch to hold moisture in, and it even better, the crop is clean when you pick it. So, so there's no cleaning dirt off pumpkins, that type of thing. So, so there's lots of advantages to no-tilling into cover crops. They can also be direct seeded this way. I've seen a lot of no-till drills modified a bit to plant pumpkin seeds. Some boxes blocked off and planting only two outer boxes or different things like that works well with pumpkins. So you can see these were transplanted and then later on you can see the crops and it looks like they have four rows in between their drive rows. You can see the, the wider rows in between. And once again, that really helps those drive rows for application of pesticides and also for ease of harvest. Just getting wagons through and harvesting makes it a lot easier when you have those clear rows in between. On these, you're also looking at planning dates for fall markets. So my fall market, does it start September 1? Uh, so it's looking at maturity dates and counting back to see when you want to plant those. So rule of thumb generally is around the mid-June to July 1 for planting in order to have ready for that, that fall market. And typically that fall market has been starting earlier and earlier, September 1. And that first part of September is, is when a lot of people are ready to decorate for those fall events, Halloween and all of those. Once again, soil temperatures and air temperatures of 60 degrees. So if you are definitely waiting to that mid-June, we definitely have those temperatures. So just some more pictures of transplanting into wheat stubble. This is a commercial transplanter. It's actually pretty neat to see it work. There's a little wheel here that the transplants are inserted into. This cuts a furrow and they go in. And it actually has a water tank that provides some water to those transplants when they're first put in. And you can see in that furrow where that transplant is. Irrigation. Typically the plants need summer and winter squash one to two inches of water per week. Remember that fruits 90% water and a lot of these plants have significant leaf mass to keep up with. So water needs are pretty necessary. So drip irrigation in the plastic mulch systems, flowering and fruit set is the most critical time for them to have water. Although typically, as far as irrigation grows, we see them in summer squash with the black plastic because the drip irrigation is there with that black plastic. But in field-grown pumpkin situations like that no-till, we do not see irrigation used very often. Could they benefit from it? Yes, most likely, but those are typically bigger situations where we're not going to see it. And mulch really makes a difference as far as helping keep moisture in.